Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to a, another video. Today for you guys, I wanted to talk uh, about Square Enix's final trailer issue. Uh, this was an apparent thing and has been for a while, but it was really brought to our attention during the promotion phase of Kingdom Hearts 3. Throughout, uh, not just the final battle trailer or the final trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, but Throughout quite a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3's promotional material, Square Enix uh, decided to chuck in a lot of spoilers, but I wanted to primarily focus on the final trailer thing for uh, specifically the bigger Square Enix Japan games, because it seems to be a constant trend, even though the community has been crying out to Square, can you guys please stop including uh, so many important events in these final trailers, Stuff that is basically considered spoiler-based scenes. Of course, you've got to do your utmost to promote your game, but uh, th th there should be a limit on exactly what you include, especially when looking towards very key pivotal events and events that happen more towards the end of the game. Okay, seriously, let's use a sandwich as an analogy towards a normal trailer to that of a Square Enix final trailer. Normal trailers be like... Square Enix final trailers be like. The reason why I wanted to talk about this today was because Neo The World Ends With You is due to release later on in July, and yesterday it received its final trailer. We got a message from Tetsuya Nomura, and I read this before viewing the final trailer. Uh, it was quite an interesting message that sort of, while reading it, I thought to myself, holy shit dude, like, maybe Square Enix have listened. This is really good news. Uh, Nomura said right here, the final episode of the Toei anime is tomorrow and it's also around one month until N Toei launches. We have released the final trailer and have hidden the major features of the game in order to avoid any spoilers. Tetsuya Nomura. So uh, that's a pretty good indicator that yes, throughout all of the feedback from specifically looking at Kingdom Hearts 3's promotional phase, as well as Final Fantasy 7 Remake's promotional phase, looking at those final trailers, have they listened? I can confirm that when looking at Neo Toei, its final trailer, it, it, oh my god, it doesn't seem like it, oh my god. I'm not going to talk about what was shown because I know a lot of people are looking forward to this game. Obviously, it's a different sort of thing when talking about Kingdom Hearts. It's my job here on YouTube, so any promotional stuff that comes through one way or another, I'm going to talk about it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bring up or talk about what was shown in the final trailer for Neo Twilly. But there is some stuff there that it's like, y you didn't have to... To show that. <laughs> it's come on, dude. And it's just funny that when you get a personal message from Tetsuya Nomura with him saying, we've hidden some major features to ensure that there's no spoilers, it goes to show that yes, clearly they know about our complaints in the community towards your major uh, J Japan games, but like, dude, what are you doing? No, there is still some thick, juicy, beefy sauerkraut in this, in this fool. Now, of course, when looking at Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, in the final trailer, disregarding the Dark Aqua trailer because that in itself, that shouldn't have been a thing that was shown in the Frozen trailer. Then we actually even got some gameplay towards the boss fight at uh, Tokyo Game Show, which boggles my mind. Of course, I'm going to be hyped regardless. And still to this day, the Frozen trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 goes down as one of my all-time favorites, even though I wish it never happened, mainly due to the chaos that ensued with the community. That side of it I enjoyed, but we shouldn't have seen that. But when looking at the final trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, I mean, we had stuff like a lot of the Keyblade graveyard scenes. Uh, there were a lot of in-game scenes in that final trailer. And like most of us knew, okay, that is obviously going to be in-game stuff, anything from the Keyblade graveyard. We're not gonna go to the Keyblade graveyard halfway throughout the game. We all knew that that was 
end game stuff. Also the Cherithi scene with Sora and Cherithi in the final world, uh, the reveal of Scala, I honestly wish we never got to see Scala, we literally saw every single world dude before the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 and quite often Square Enix will show off uh, most worlds especially when looking at uh, the Disney based ones for an upcoming Kingdom Hearts title but not necessarily every single world including originals. Really 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 disappointed we got to see Scala. We shouldn't have considering how short that world was. To be fair, it really wasn't even a world, it was a segment. I could also say that that Young Master Xehanort scene when uh, he's talking to Sora in San Francisco saying that uh, abusing the power, blah blah blah, uh, there's going to be consequences, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there was just a lot of stuff in the Kingdom Hearts 3 final battle trailer that just shouldn't have, have seen the light of day. It really shouldn't have. Final Fantasy VII Remake, even though a lot of people complained throughout Kingdom Hearts 3's promotion that Square Enix was showing too much, again, especially in that final trailer. Well, I think for the most part, a lot of Final Fantasy VII Remake's promotion was good to a degree uh, in the sense of not showing too much spoiler-based stuff, but again, they had to kind of show some things to keep the uh, already pre-existing fan base interested, but I mean you don't really have to at the same time showing those familiar scenes. I'm also talking about the spoiler based ones because obviously the hardcore fans are going to buy the game regardless, but I, I totally understand the argument of well you've got to show these familiar scenes so that the OG fans can have a view of holy shit it's that familiar scene I saw all those years ago uh, in a modern format, but they don't necessarily have to be hardcore spoilers and also considering the fact that for a lot of people, Final Fantasy VII Remake was their very first time experiencing Final Fantasy VII. So the argument right here is like nothing really can be spoiled apart from the Whisper based stuff because that is different for the remake. But still, keeping in mind, keep it fresh for the newcomers. For the Final Fantasy VII Remake final trailer, uh, they showed stuff like Barrett getting stabbed, the Whispers as well, even um, with Aerith, I believe saying a line, something like, she can feel herself changing, even though in previous trailers it kind of insinuated with the whispers and whatnot that uh, those were the ones like kind of changing the timeline and the known events. You really didn't have to include that. I mean like the flashbacks as well, you didn't have to include that with like young Cloud, young uh, Aerith as well as like Tifa and her dad. It's just, yeah, it seems apparent that Square Enix haven't listened even though they gave us a response towards, hey, uh, this is the final trailer for Neo Tui. They're quite clearly aware of that this is a problem. Now I know you guys might be thinking that, well that's kind of rich of you to be complaining cynical because any singular slice of Kingdom Hearts promotional stuff you're going to talk about regardless as to whether or not it's got spoiler based stuff in it or not. And yes, I mean you would totally be correct there. It is my thing here though on YouTube and while yes I will report on it because this is obviously what I do, people come to my channel to get all the latest, specifically for Kingdom Hearts, please do understand that when I am seeing this stuff, while yes it is hype and I'm absolutely nerdgasming, there is a big part of me that's like, <laughs> why did you have to show this? But that's hype! But why did you have to show- But that's hype! But why did you- But why did that- But that- do it, do it, do it, do it. So I only do hope. We were saying that for like Kingdom Hearts 3 and then we got the Final Fantasy 7 Remake the same again. Then after the Final Fantasy 7 Remake we're like alright surely. Now that we've got two like fan bases complaining about spoiler based stuff in these trailers surely for the next major Japanese Square Enix release they would have learned but 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 no. no so hopefully now that we've got three fan bases <laughs> where we have Final Fantasy as well as Kingdom Hearts we can all collectively complain and really send the message to Square for any future major Square Enix Japanese release hey guys uh, we love what you're doing we understand you gotta promote your game maybe just tone it down with the spoilers in your trailers, especially those final ones. I want some decent promotion for the next Kingdom Hearts game, I really do, uh, but I don't want like 
end scenes thrown in and absolutely every last world and just pivotal key events. Please chill with those guys. Now, but dudes, uh, that's all for me today. I thought I would bring this uh, to your guys' attention. I know most of you probably already know about this and is something that you've bitched about once, twice, or maybe now three times. But I thought it's important to talk about this just considering it seems to be an ongoing thing. In the comment section down below, please share your thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear them. However, guys, I'm Cynical, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.